So 6x minus 16 equals 26. Remember, your job is to get x by itself, or isolate x, or get x equals something. And we could do that because we have an equation. So step one would be to add 16 to both sides. And I'm going to lay out the solution for you. So when you add 16 to the left side, we get 0, and the 6x comes down. And adding 16 to the right side gives us 42. Then to further isolate x, we need to divide both sides by 6, because we have to undo the multiplication of 6 times x. And when you do that, the 6's cancel out, x drops down, isolated, and 42 divided by 6 is 7. 5 times x minus 1 minus 20 equals 0. The first step would be to distribute the 5. You get 5x and negative 5. And negative 20 stays as is, and the 0 remains on the right side. Next, combine like terms, and that would be the negative 5 and the negative 20. So the next line should read 5x minus 25. So now we begin to isolate x by adding 25 to both sides. And as a result of adding 25 to both sides, this cancels out. We're left with 25 on the right side and 5x alone on the left side. And the final step would be to divide both sides by 5 to undo this 5 times x. So you get the x alone, and then 25 divided by 5 would just be 5. Try this problem. Negative 8 times t minus 9. Subtract t plus 3 equals 4. The first step, as before, would be to distribute, in this case, the negative 8 to the t and the negative 9. And also, we have to distribute this negative 1 in front of the t plus 3. So as a result of that, we get negative 8t, positive 72, negative t, and negative 3 equals 4. And uh, I highlighted the like terms, which is your next step. So as a result of combining like terms, negative 9t plus 69 equals 4. The next thing we need to do is move that 69 over to the right side. So we're going to subtract 69 from both sides. So as a result of the subtraction, we end up with negative 9t equals negative 65. And to isolate t, we divide both sides by negative 9. And when you divide both sides by negative 9, these negative 9s cancel out, so you're left with t. The two positives make, excuse me, the two negatives make a positive, and you're left with 65 over 9. Here's another problem. This involves some fractions. 5x over 2, where you can read this as 5 halves x plus 1x over 4, or 1 fourth x equals 9 fourths plus x. So this equation can also be written as follows. 5x over 2 plus x over 4, 9 fourths, and x. The only difference is I'm getting rid of that 1. So get comfortable looking at x over 4 as 1 fourth x. For convenience of typing, I'm going to rewrite the equation in this form. So we need to get rid of these denominators and the way to do it is to multiply both sides by the least common multiple of the denominators. And if you study them, 2, 4, and 4. Well, 4 is the least common multiple. 
I'm going to do is multiply the entire equation by 4. So I'm going to, um, 4 is going to be multiplied by 5 halves, by x over 4, 9 fourths, and x. And as a result of doing that, we can see that when we multiply 4 times 5x over 2, the 2 gets canceled out, so we're left with the 2 here, and so 2 times 5 is 10, 10x in this case. The 4 cancels out with this 4, so we're left with x. As far as the 4 being multiplied by 9 fourths, that 4 cancels out with the 4, so we're left with 9. And 4 times x is simply 4x. The next step would be to combine like terms, and we could do that on the left side. 10x plus x is 11x, and the right side stays the same. So rewriting, we have 11x equals 9 plus 4x. Next, we need to collect the x's on one side. And so I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, because that will remove the x variable from the right side and have it on the left side. So 11 minus 4x is the next step. And that gives you 7x, and the 9 just drops down. Next, we need to isolate x finally by dividing both sides by 7. And when we do that, 7s uh, cancel out, and the other side becomes 9 sevenths. So your final answer is 9 over 7 or 9 sevenths.